up God's favorite family? I'm so happy you made it back to the channel because today would not have been the same without you. Yo, y'all, I've been, I've been thinking about doing this video for like two days, but it's like videos like this, like I feel like I'm kind of hesitant sometimes because of the, almost the weight of the video kind of. Um, and I just, I just want to make sure that I'm saying something that's going to make a difference for somebody, at least one person. I want to make sure that I'm saying something that is going to either encourage or keep somebody going. So I don't want to just make videos in vain. Sometimes I do fun videos, but the videos that I'm attempting to motivate or attempting to get out a message, I want to make sure that I'm saying something that's important. Make sure I'm saying something that's effective. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about doing these videos for this video for like two days Like I wrote it down and under my video ideas, but I was like, I don't know exactly what I want to say But I'm just gonna speak from my heart, you know Um, and this video was actually kind of like Affirmed right before I cut on the camera by my dad Um, yeah, he sent the text and I was like, okay So I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna upload and see what happens Um so this video is dedicated to the people, um, well first off, this video is inspired by a lot of the people that I love, a lot of the people who are important to me and in my life, they're important to me. This video is inspired by you, dedicated to you, um, and hopefully through you and through what I know about you and the heart that I have for you and the um, thoughts and everything that I have for you, the reasons why I'm making this video, hopefully someone else is healed from that. Um, so this video is inspired by all of the people that I love who have had to fight through a silent battle. Those are the, the ones who went through some of the most heartbreaking things in a time in their life where they didn't even have control over they didn't even have a say so about what the things that they had to go through. The ones who overcame and made it past and made it through some of the things that people wouldn't even start to think about having to make it through. Um, I wanted to talk to others like that, other people who may have gone through the worst of the worst. You've gone through the darkest of the darkest moments. You've had to really endure pain and you know pain on such a deep level and you've you've made it you've made it through all of that chaos you fought through all of that chaos and you fight battles every day whether it be mentally when a memory is triggered or when you flash back to that moment or just the way that the the things that you've gone through the way that they've shaped you as a person the things that you can't even control because you went through so much chaos throughout your whole life you can't control um certain things about yourself all the battles that you've had to fight that weren't even a choice of yours it was a battle that was placed in front of you by someone else or by someone you trusted and you were just left out alone and you had to deal with the pain, you had to deal with the pressure, you had to deal with the chaos by yourself and you fought those battles alone. You've struggled by yourself. You've suffered, you've suffered by yourself. To everyone who is out here in the world putting on a whole face, <laughs> When really you're broken and shattered on the inside and really you are missing certain things that some people don't even think about because we grew up being loved. We grew up having someone protecting us. We grew up knowing that, knowing the difference between right and wrong because we had clear examples. We grew up in this bubble, but that bubble wasn't even an option for you because you had to, you had to protect yourself. You had to love find love within yourself and maybe you haven't even found that full definition yet and you're still seeking and searching you had to you had to be your own best friend you had to be your own protector you had to be your own safe place i wanted to talk to you guys and let you know that i see you and i think about you guys almost every day i've had 
so many of the I have so many people in my life, family, friends, who who are among one of these, who had to fight battles silently, who struggled through the worst of the worst. I know these people and I have love for these people. And sometimes I think about, especially when I'm thinking about the impact that I want to make on the world and the people who I want to touch and the people that I want to get God's love to. I think about y'all. I think about all the people out in the world who are putting on a face because they know that if they tell everything that's happened to them, if they show their broken pieces, that they're going to be judged. They think that they won't be, they can't be accepted. They can't be loved because everyone will be too scared of all the broken pieces. I think about you guys all the time. <laughs> you guys are on my heart. You guys are in my prayers. Sometimes I just say prayers for people. Sometimes I just pray for no, I'm not, not going to say no reason, but I just pray because I think about the people who are hurting, who had to deal with hurt that wasn't even a part of something that they had done it wasn't it wasn't an it wasn't a um result of something that they did or something that they chose but it was put on them sometimes as as young people as young children i think about those people and i think about how hurt they much they must feel how hurt they must feel i think about how frustrated they must feel on a daily basis i think about the ways they have to fight, even on a day-to-day, -day, even after the storm has passed. They still have to fight with memories. They still have to fight with the lies that whatever that situation or circumstance was, the lies that it left on them. They have to deal with all of those things. They have to deal with that mentally and in their hearts. They have to deal with that and fight through that. I think about you guys on a daily and I just wanted to make this video so somebody knows that I see you, that I pray for you, that I think about you, I love you and I pray that God's healing and his restoration and his love that it reaches you and that you can be whole and that you can find strength. You are already the strongest people on this earth. The ones who fight silent battles, the ones who muffle their own screams and fight the battle internally. You fight the battle by yourself. You fight without anyone else's help. You guys are the strongest people. You're the strongest people. The silent are the strongest people. The ones who aren't wailing and crying when they have every right to wail and cry. You are so strong and I see your strength and I just wanted to encourage you to keep keep on fighting and fight for your wholeness. Fight for your healing, your restoration. I pray that you be released from the memories and the constant flashbacks of that 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 time in your life, that dark time in your life. I want you to be free. I want you to know that I see your strength. I want you to know that you are purposed, that your your story has a purpose, that you can help someone with your story. Don't be silent. Be be uh be a guide. Be a guide to someone else. Find somebody else that you can help with your story and it might even help you to get through some of that pain and help you to heal and really be restored for some from some of that pain if you reach out and find somebody else who you can help i just wanted to send love to you guys to send love to anyone that this video has that it resonates with i wanted to send love to you i wanted to send prayers to you and i wanted you to know that somebody sees you that I hear you even though you are silently fighting. I hear you on a daily basis. You guys have a place in my heart. You have a place in my prayers. Um, and I, I love you guys. And I hope that you find a way to use your pain. I, find, I hope that you find a purpose for your pain. I hope that you find a way to use that pain to make your world, the world around you a little bit better. And I just wanted to say that you are strong and i admire you i admire the way that you have fought thus far and the way that you continue to fight to be just a a human just be another 
capable working human being y'all i'm telling you if you're not one of these people you have no idea the strength that they have to even get up on a day-to-day -day basis to get out of their bed on a day-to-day -day basis and go about their life as usual if you had to fight through something silently fight through chaos fight through something that wasn't it wasn't a part of your choice I take my hat off to you <laughs> my metaphorical hat off to you and I just say thank you for being strong and I'm happy that you're here I'm happy that you're that you're making it I'm happy that you made it out of that situation that you're making it right now in this moment I love you so much I just want to I hope that this is an encouraging message like I said at the beginning, I don't want to ever, if I'm talking about something this serious and something that really has a place in my heart like this, that I never want to make a video just to make a video. I want it to resonate with somebody. I want it to encourage somebody. I want it to make somebody, I want it to make somebody feel like they're seen um, and like they can do, a, they can go on a little bit more. I just want to encourage and motivate you guys and I don't know just send love and just love on y'all <laughs> i really really do love you guys and you are a hero you are a shiro whoever you are you're a hero and i'm happy that you're here i'm so happy that you're here and you are here for a reason your story is with purpose and there is still time for you to be healed for you to be restored and just live your life be free live your life live your life in happiness and in joy and from a place of healing i love you love you love you love you love you so much you are here for a reason okay i love y'all so much thanks for watching peace and love